this was a review I was going to do last for last Saturday. It was Friday the 13th, last Friday, and the following that is Saturday the 14th. And I was going to review this film. But been a bit bogged down lately, so I'm getting around to it as soon as possible, right now. Saturday the 14th, I think it's from New World Pictures, NBC Home Entertainment. Uh, I thought, always thought it was New World Pictures as well at the same time. Uh, it's a comedy, horror, thriller. And uh, it's set in Pennsylvania, home of Sean Gormonger. Shout out to you on Facebook, who's a giant horror fan. And it's based around this book which has gone missing in this giant house because a family moves in. It starts off with two vampires looking up for the book. So cliched vampires with capes on, a man and a woman, uh, a couple. And they're talking about this book and they know that the family's got it somewhere in their new house. As they move in, there's a brother, a younger brother, there's a sister and there's a mum and a dad. Uh, so there's four that have moved into this um into this giant mansion like house and it's their dream house and they love it and uh, it needs doing up so they're going on, on about getting curtains and doing it all basically it's all slapstick comedy because the kid ends up finding the book and that's when the monsters start coming um, they start it's like a um, if you can see it here like a creature from the Black Lagoon Guild Man who comes up from the bath when the sister's taking a bath and she's quite funny in this. She really did make me laugh and so did the dad in this. Uh, the kid, I think his name Billy, uh, cliche name Billy. Uh, and the um, book is slowly being tried to get taken away from him by the monsters but the book is the only thing that can keep the monsters at bay and around the middle of this film there's a, a Van Helsing type of character who comes in and he's trying to stop um, the evil basically but there's a twist at the end and he's trying to stop the vampires that are trying to get hold of this book and they're trying to uh, salvage it and um, keep getting stopped um, and uh, basically the plot revolves around that and towards the end they, were, they can't leave the house because there's gigantic winds and stuff keeping them in the house when they try to leave the kid opens the door and like the wind blows in and if anybody comes around to their house their house they automatically get stuck there because they can't leave again because the evil's keeping them all in this place and so do you arrange having a party out of all things? Uh, having a party, because uh, the Van Helsing uh, scientist guy, who's just there, if you can see him properly. I hope you can see that. He says, oh, we need so much positive energy. We need all this energy so we can stop the monsters and stop the evil and stop the book and everything like that. So do you arrange people to come round from the family and they're all getting invited around to this party and they get killed off by all these monsters and it's so silly stuff really it's like uh, a scene with all the monsters are in the kitchen like making a mess and um, I think the sister's trying to creep away from them and she's trying to keep her head down while these monsters are going off in the kitchen and the monsters um, only just scare the family there's not really they don't really kill anyone well, well they, only, they do kill the party guests and a policeman who gets killed in this as well where it's only 15 probably a pg-13 uh in america but there's a twist at the end but i won't give that away but there is a twist at the end uh involving the book the two vampires that are after the book the van helsing character uh and the little lad who goes missing towards the end as well now this is on region one dvd as well and uh there's a saturday the 14th strikes back as well uh, I think they're getting quite expensive on DVD now, on Region 1 they are. Uh, but this is the video of it this year, so I think I paid about a quid for it from a cancer charity research shop, cancer charity shop, which we have in here in England. Um, and Saturday the 14th well, was a review I was going to do last week, but didn't get round to doing it because last Saturday was the 14th. I loved uploading on that day, but I'm getting it done now for September. And it's a fun film, fun, silly film. 
Uh, you should check it out. Saturday the 14th, starring Richard Benjamin and Paula Prentiss. Um, Saturday the 14th, there's nothing much really to say about it really, apart from if you love a monster mash, fun film, slightly campy, uh, fun stuff really. You know, you could have your own Friday the 13th marathon on the Friday and then watch this on the Saturday or Saturday the 14th strikes back. Saturday the 14th. Enjoy. Good night. Have a bloody good day. Ooh -ha. We're going to be taking another look at another 80s horror film, uh, horror film slash comedy slash thriller uh, spoof, even that. And it is the film Beverly Hills Vamp, starring uh, Britt Eklund, I think that's how you pronounce the name, and Eddie Deason, the comedian. And it was directed by, um, I can never get his name right, but it's, it's Frank Ray Olin, is that his name? who did many low-budget B-movie movies in the 80s and continues to do so in, in this day and age. Um, Beverly Hills Vamp is one of them. This came out in 1989 and basically it's about three filmmakers who want to go to Hollywood and basically get their end away. They are Kyle, Brock and Russell. Kyle is played by Eddie Deason and basically they are going to a party, well basically to meet women in Beverly Hills, uh, in Beverly Hills Hollywood and they turn out to be vampires and uh, trying to cut to the chase is that they are pretty. One of them is played by Deborah Lamb who you might know from uh, G-String Horror and Invisible Maniac and uh, she's on Facebook and uh, her Facebook page is Deborah Lamb Extreme. Eddie Deason is the one that gets away, he plays Kyle and he goes back in search and hunting for the vampires and trying to kill them uh, in comical ways and uh, basically they're all running around in their underwear these female vampires are, vampires are so you know it's appealing to the guys uh, to the lads and um, it's a silly comedy there's like silly scenes where Eddie Deason gets his trousers whipped down and he's got underwear on which has got like a, a holy cross on it to try and stop the vampires and he's stopping them all one by one there is nudity in this so uh, that's why it's an 18 or an R rated and um, that's it's silly moments campy moments definitely and um, it's become a bit of a cult classic like Invisible Maniac and um, is a popular film among Deborah Lamb's fans, fangs, fans and um, you'll be hard pressed to find this that you'll only be able to find it on video but uh, I heard it was on demand either this or Invisible Maniac was on demand on Amazon but it was on Daily Motion at one point. Whether it still works or not, I'm not sure. But Beverly Hills Vamp is one of those popcorn movies that you could sit down and basically have a laugh with. It's by New. It's from New World Pictures, so you, uh, you know, New World Pictures, you know, the Roger Corman company. So you're gonna get some kind of low budget thrill out of it. Um, just show the back quickly if you can see that there. 
there's Deborah Lamb, there's Eddie Deason. Some more pictures there. As you can see, it's it's a very racy comedy horror film, and uh, if you're into that, then yeah, why not pick it up? I like films like this personally. I think they're funny as hell. Um, and it's fun to see this film after all these years because, um, you know, it's, it's, it's it, like I said before, it is quite a rare film. And um, if you want to get hold of it, you're going to have to get it on video or try and look for it online and show you how to find it on YouTube. There's a couple of clips on there that people have put up, which I've noticed. Um, there isn't really much to say about it apart from it's a VHS tape, so it's. I can't exactly review it uh, as a DVD or anything like that, but Deborah Lamb uh, is a Ness and she's she loves her, her screen cream rolls where she likes to get it all dressed up and um, put her fangs in and look like a monster. And uh, so this is a shout out to you, Deborah Lamb, really, uh, from Facebook. And. Um, I think it's back with Ray, Fred, Ray Olin films. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You can expect it to be, you know, funny in places, funny in places, and uh, appeal to the beer drinking crowd. And you know, you're gonna get your kicks when you know, and the women start getting the boobs out and everything like that, and having sexy scenes and stuff like that, and having comedy scenes with Eddie Deason, um, Beverly Hills Vamp. If you can check it out, try and find it. Um, it's, there's not much to say about it really apart from comedy, horror, thriller um, popcorn movie get some beers out enjoy Beverly Hills fam good night have a bloody good day as usual and happy Halloween